Hey, welcome back to the Smelly Telly. Today we're going to be learning how to play Lodi by Credence Clearwater. Some of you might be thinking, weren't we supposed to do And Then Some by Midland and maybe the guitar solos to Can't You See Marshall Tucker? Well, yeah, that's true, but I got hired to do six gigs this summer, and I'm trying to learn a bunch of new songs in five weeks so I can go play with these guys. But while I learn these songs, I figure I'll throw some of them in so you guys can keep learning while I'm learning, and we can all learn something together. So please make sure to hit the like, subscribe button. It helps me continue to make more guitar lesson videos for you. That's enough talking. Let's go play some guitar. Okay, so Lodi, this is in the key of B flat, but uh, you'll see John Fogarty tunes his guitar down half a step so that his C chord is actually B flat. But since most of us leave our guitars in standard tuning, I thought we'll just learn it in B flat. So first chord we're going to need to know is a B flat chord. We're also going to need to know the four chord, which is an E flat. And we're going to need to know a five chord, which is the F. And the last chord you're going to need to know is a G minor chord. And those four chords are going to get you through the first part of the song. There is a key change, and we will cover those chords a little bit later in this uh, lesson. But for now, we're going to start in the key of B flat. So uh, starting on the intro, you're going to sit on B flat for two measures, then play an E flat, and then a B flat. And the strumming pattern for this is pretty simple. It just sounds like this. So that's down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. A little bit slower. Two, three, four, down, up, up, down, up. Down, up, up, down, up, 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 up, down, up. So then we're going to go through the chords here and the lyrics. I'm just going to speak the lyrics so I don't trigger YouTube's copyright claims. Uh, so here we go. First verse. Two, three, four. Just about a year. E flat. Set out on the road. B flat. B flat. Seeking my fame and fortune. G minor. E flat. To the F. Back to B flat, G minor, guess you know the tune, E flat, back to B flat, B flat, oh lord, F, E flat, B flat again, second verse, E flat, B flat. Passing through to G minor, seven months or more, E flat, F, B flat, ran out of time and money, G minor, E flat, looks like they took my friends to B flat, oh lord, F, to E flat again, B flat, then we got the solo, E flat, B flat, second part of the solo, F, E flat, B flat. Okay, and at the end of the third verse, we're going to hear, Oh Lord, stuck in B flat. Here comes the change to F. To C, to G, to C. Then we're into the last verse. We're going to go to an F for every song I've sung. To a C, and every time I had to play to an A minor, while people F sat there drunk, G. C, you know I'd catch the next train, A minor, F, back to where I live in C, 
C for O Lord G. I'm stuck in Lodi F again. That's a C. C again. G. I'm stuck in Lodi to F. Back to C. And then we're in the outro. Just on C. To F. Back to C. C again. To a G. To an F. And that just repeats two more times. And that's pretty much all the uh, rhythm parts for Lodi. Let's grab the electric guitar and dig into some of the cool licks here. All right, the intro to Lodi sounds like this. Okay, you're going to play that. You're going to play the 8th fret of the D string, 7th fret of the G string twice. Then we're going to play the 10th fret of the D, 8th fret of the G. Play this again, and we're going to slide up to the 12th fret of the D, 10th fret of the G. Play it again. And then we're going to play it again and slide down. And we're going to land on the 7th fret of the G, 8th fret of the D. Then we're going to play this double stop and we're going to kind of slide and kind of hammer on into the 10th fret of the D and the 8th fret of the G. Play that double stop one more time. And then play it one more time. We're going to pull off the 10th fret of the D string to the 8th fret of the D string. Then we're going to play this double stop one more time. And then go back down to the 8th fret of the D, 7th fret of the, D, 7th fret of the G. And then the last line is the 8th fret of the A string. Play that note one more time and hammer on the 10th fret. Back down to the 8th of the A. 10th fret E string. 8th fret E string. To the 6th fret E string. And we're in at the top of the verse. So that line all together. 2, 3, 4... time. One, two, three, four. All right, good. And then when we get towards uh, the end of that first verse, oh Lord, stuck in Lodi again, you'll hear this lick. And to play that, you're going to slide from the 3rd fret to the 5th fret on the D string. 3rd fret of the G string to the 5th fret. Give it a full bend. Play that top of the full bend again and release it. And pull off to the 3rd fret of the G. Play the 5th fret of the D. 3rd fret G. And then the 3rd fret of the D, hammer onto the 5th fret. 3rd fret D. 5th fret A, 3rd fret A, 1st fret A. Let's take that all together nice and slow. 2, 3, 4... One more time a little faster. 2, 3, 4... good and that lick gets played again after the second verse uh sounds like this again then we're into the guitar solo the solo sounds like this Okay, and to play that, it's very similar to the intro. We're going to play the 8th fret of the D, 7th fret of the G twice. 
Then the next double stop is 10th fret G, 8th fret of the, sorry, 10th fret of the D, 8th fret of the G. Play that again, slide up to the 12th fret of the D, 10th fret of the G. Play this double stop again. Then slide the double stop down. Then you're going to land on the 7th fret of the G, 8th fret of the D. And then we're going to play the 7th fret of the G, 8th fret of the D, and slide it up to the 8th fret of the G, 10th fret of the D. Kind of like a slide, kind of like a hammer-on, just like we did in the intro. Then we're going to play a double stop on the 8th fret of the D and G. Add the 10th fret of the D and play the 8th fret of the G double stop. Then go back to the 8th fret D, 8th fret G double stop. 8th fret A, 8th fret D, hammer on to the 10th fret of the A. Then just play the double stop A uh, and D on the 8th fret. Then you're going to slide on the low E string from the 8th fret to the 10th fret. Then a double stop on the A and D string 8th fret twice. Then one more double stop, 10th fret A, 8th fret D. Let's take that line all together. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Then we're into the second line of the solo. You're going to play the 8th fret of the D, 7th fret of the G twice. 10th fret D, 8th fret G. Then we're going to slide this double stop up to the 12th fret of the D, 10th fret of the G. Play that double stop again. Then you play this double stop again and slide down. And land on the 8th fret of the D, 7th fret of the G. Then we're going to do that awkward slide hammer-on thing to the from the 7th fret G, 8th fret D, to the 8th fret G, 10th fret D. Play that again. Play it one more time and pull off the 10th fret down to the 8th fret on the D string. Add the 10th fret back, play the double stop with the 8th fret of the G string. Down to the 8th fret of the D, 7th fret of the G. Then you're going to play the 8th fret on the A, play that 8th fret again, hammer on the 10th fret, play the 8th fret on the A string, 10th fret D, uh, E string, 8th fret E, 6th fret E. Okay, and that line all together, 2, 3, 4. time one two three four okay then we get towards the last part of the third verse and you're gonna hear that lick come back here We're just going to stop there on the third fret of the G string because now we are into the turnaround here. And the turnaround sounds like this. Okay, to play that, we're going to hammer on for the 10th fret to the 12th fret of the A string. Double stop D and G string 10th fret. Hammer on the 12th fret of the D string. Back down to the 10th fret D, 10th fret G. 12th fret A string, slide down. Then we're going to hammer on the 10th fret of the low E to the 12th fret. Then a double stop on your A string and D string, 10th fret. And repeat that lick. 10th fret, hammer on to the 12th fret, low E string. Double stop. 
A string and D string, 10th fret. Then you're going to play that double stop again, 10th fret A, 10th fret D, and you're going to pull off the D string to the 9th fret. Play that 9th fret on the D string again. And repeat this lick, 10th fret A, 10th fret D, pull the D off to the 9th fret. Play the 9th fret again. And now you're into the C chord at the key change. And then he's going to sing his last verse here. You're going to hear the same lick that we played down here on the 3rd and 5th fret. But we're just going to move that lick up to the 5th fret and 7th fret. Alright, so to play that, you just slide on the D string from the 5th fret to the 7th fret. Play the 5th fret of the G. 7th fret G. Play that 7th fret again, give it a full bend. At the top of that bend, on the 7th fret of the G, play it again and release it. Pull off to the 5. 7th fret D string. 5th fret G string. Then you go to the D string, hammer on the 5th fret to the 7th fret. 5th fret D. 7th fret A. 5th fret A. To the 3rd fret of the A. And then you repeat this lick when he sings, uh, Lord, I'm stuck in Lodi again. And you're going to stop here on the five because we're going to go back to our guitar lick. So let's take these two lines together nice and slow. Two, three, four, stuck in Lodi. Stuck in Lodi. Okay, a little faster. Two, three, four. Oh, Lord. Stuck in. Oh, Lord. Stuck in. Okay, and then we're into the outro of the song. The outro sounds like this, and it's just going to repeat twice. Then it just repeats. So to play the first line of that, we're going to play the 9th fret of the G, 10th fret of the D, double stop twice. Then you got the 12th fret of the D, 10th fret of the G. Play this double stop again, slide up to the 14th D, 12th fret G. Play this double stop again, then slide it down and land on the 9th fret of the G, 10th fret of the D. Then you're going to do that awkward kind of slidey hammer on thing from the 9th fret of the G, 10th fret of the D, up to the 12th fret of the D, 10th fret of the G. Then you're going to do a double stop, 10th fret D, 10th fret G. Add the 12th fret of the D, play this double stop again with the 10th fret of the G. 10th fret double stop, D string and G string. 10th fret double stop, A string, D string. Hammer on the 12th fret of the A. 10th fret A, 10th fret D. Then you're going to slide from the 10th fret to the 12th fret on the low E string. Then the 10th fret of the A and the D double stop twice. Add the 12th fret of the A string and play the double stop with the D string fretted at the 10th fret. And let's play this first line together nice and slow. 1, 2, 3, 4, Mm -hmm. 
One more time. One, two, three, four. Now we're into the next line of the solo. So to play that, it's very similar. 10th fret of the D, 9th fret of the G, tw uh, double stop twice. Then the 12th fret of the D, 10th fret of the G. Slide this double stop up to the 14th fret of the D, 12th fret of the G. Play that double stop again. One more time and slide down. Try and land on the 10th fret of the D and the 9th fret of the G. Then you got this awkward hammer-on slide thing from the 9th fret G, 10th fret D to the 10th fret G, 12th fret D. Play that double stop again. Play it one more time and pull the 12th fret of the D string off to the 10th fret of the D string. Add the 12th fret back and play the double stop, 12th fret D, 10th fret G. 9th fret G string, 10th fret D string, double stop. Then you got a double stop on the A string uh, and the D string, 10th fret. And the second time you play this double stop, you're going to add the 12th fret of the A string with a little hammer on. Then you're going to play this double stop two more times on the 10th fret of the A, 10th fret of the D. Add the 12th fret and play that double stop uh, with the 10th fret of the D string. And that line all together sounds like this. Two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. That's all the parts for Lodi. Hey, thanks for watching the video today. Hope you learned something. If you want practice tracks, head over to Patreon. I got the copies of them there. You can also get the tablatures for this song and a bunch of other good stuff. So thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps me continue to make more guitar lessons for you. We'll see you next time. Take care. One, two, three, four.